for the technician visa, you're going to have three letters of recommendation, which are the compulsory letters. But then within your evidence, you could also provide some letter of support. Maybe you were a speaker and you're getting a letter from the organizer of that event. So for the key ones, the three of them, two of them were from academia, but not from the same organization. One was from an organization that I was working with. It's an NGO. So I played a key role there in leading and organizing a lot of things and setting the vision. The other one was from my core academic activities. The third was from industry, because it's also part of what they might be looking at. They will be looking at that breadth of your as well. So if all your letters are coming from the same university, it's going to be a red flag. Don't you know anyone outside this organization? If you are a leader or promising talent, then you should have that network of people that you know. The one that came from industry was from a conference I attended and I connected from there. I think it makes it easier these days so you can build that connection. And from there, that connection would grow. You can like different means, commenting on what people post, reaching out to them and those conversations from what you see from their posts. That was how that third one came about. I had that breadth of connections from academia, from NGO, from industry. And that was how it was as well for other evidence that was spread out. Some coming from charities I work with or coming from the data study group with Alan Turing. You could see there were so mm. many different, from different angles, different countries, some from US, some from Korea, some from Nigeria. So you could see that breadth as well, in, even in the countries. This was all coming yeah. from things I've done and people I've worked with, which you can connect from conferences, from from engagements you have.